this sound right, boys. Hey everyone, Joel Lance here. Today we're outside House of Chimney Cakes. Yes, the House of Chimney Cakes here in Dearborn, Michigan. It's loud music out here, so let's go somewhere quieter and I'll tell you the rest of what we're doing today. Here we're doing the ultimate chimney cake challenge. Yes, the chimney sweeper challenge. So this looks absolutely delicious. I have never had a chimney cake prior to this, um, so I was super excited to try them out. For the challenge, we're gonna have nine of them and 30 minutes to complete it. So these are essentially like a Hungarian dough. The dough itself is kind of mixed between like a donut, a croissant, and a cinnamon bun. Then they're buttered, rolled in sugar, and then dressed and topped with everything from like fruity pebbles to like blueberry sprinkles to Oreo crumbs. And then they're filled with ice cream. Yes, a huge, 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 delicious serving of quality, quality, quality soft serve ice cream. Um, the recipes behind all this is actually backed by a Michelin star chef, like a, a Michelin restaurant chef, which is amazing. Um, the coffee they have is three star Michelin coffee. You can only get it at three star Michelin restaurants or Michelin three star restaurants, like crazy stuff, super high quality. I'm super excited to try this out. The, this place, uh, like the chain actually started in Anaheim, California, where it is so busy. It's right by Disney World. Um, but now it's in the north, Dearborn, Michigan, just outside Detroit, which is so amazing, so awesome. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be 30 minutes to complete the challenge. I'm gonna give you some more details, flavors and stuff and all that. But basically guys, huge amount of delicious ice cream, baked goods, chimney cake goodness. So I'm so excited. Um, we're gonna be joined by two local foodies. Um, so they, again, don't, don't get me wrong. They do not do food challenges. I do food challenges, but they're gonna like let them tag team the challenge if that makes sense. Um, so one, uh, we, uh, my friend Hanan, and then our friend Summer. Um, so yeah, two local foodies are gonna kind of go ahead it. Um, a lot of people ask me, hey, have you ever gone against like, I don't know, I don't wanna say normal people, but you know, so that's what you're gonna kind of see today. And uh, that's about that. So let's go eat, have fun. Chimney Cakes. Hi everyone, so let's get started here. I'm super excited. Uh, just because they're gonna melt, we have a lovely uh, worker here who's gonna walk us through what we have as we eat the different kinds of flavors. So I'm gonna start with this one. It's ca uh, caramel corn on it. What's this one called? This is the All American Pie. All American Pie. All right, you girls ready to start? All right, how about you start it? Let's say the count of about five, four, three, two, one. Cheers, everybody. Oh, what do we have here? That's the vodka and the one you are eating is the Hungarian Black, anyway, what am I squeezing on top? Oh, black cherry sauce. Ooh, so excited about this. Guys, this ice cream. Oh my god. They said it was a premium sauce, you're gonna see why. And then, like you said, this really cool baked cake, chimney cake. Do you feel the balls are so cool. Wait, did I just say that on Instagram? <laughs> YouTube. YouTube. What are these? For the record, she, she really did say that. Can we edit that out? Oh my god. No, what? Let's go, girl. Slow down, slow down. Wait, hold on. Can I have some of your cake? Oh, yeah. 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 Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we are here taking on a giant dessert challenge and what very well might be my favorite dessert challenge of all time. These chimney cakes from House of Chimney Cakes were literally beyond words. This was like an atomic bomb of flavor. So let's get into this. We're going, we're going on to, what, is, what do I have here? That's the Domino's Tropical Sunday. Say that again? Domino's Tropical Sunday. Ooh, Mamino's. Yeah, that's my favorite. Oh man. So wait, we have 30 minutes. Calm down. I'm not even resting. I can't get out. This is delicious. So again, the challenge was to eat nine of their chimney cakes, assorted chimney cakes. Um, again, it was me with the nine, and then we had Summer and Hanan also trying to get down the nine. 30 minutes. Definitely a lot of food, but oh my gosh, so delicious. I've never had such a quality soft serve. The flavors were just exquisite. It was the perfect uh, mix of richness, of mouthfeel, of sweet. And then you had these lovely kind of succulent, um, kind of crisp, 
buttery flavors coming from the actual chimney cone itself. I don't even know what to say. This is that good. Wow. I think you could make you the baker. I've never had something like this before. That sweet bread is kind of like a donut and kind of like a croissant and a churro. It is just like absolutely beautiful. What's this one? That's the strawberry bomb. Don't eat it. What is it? Strawberry bomb. Strawberry bomb, everybody. The Mamino, we're still on this one. <laughs> you what? This is a donut, right? Yeah, strawberry donut. Gold. And that is pineapple. Oh my god, that is so good. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. What? We call ourselves to Keep it up, keep it up. What kind of food is there? I'm trying. This one's actually really, really good. Oh, that is so good. Are you getting brain freeze yet? I have a throat spray. I have everything freeze. Uh -huh. As we're kind of going through the flavors, you can see and you can tell they literally had every flavor and every kind of taste you can imagine, whether it was, you know, chocolate, strawberry, fruity, like, you know, with their Dole Whips, uh, you know, even the vegan options, you know. So they had so many options. Of course, you can also create your own. So, you know, but as you can tell, we're having a lot of fun. Can you help us? Can you help us? Let's go. Wait, wait. Come we got to We got We're taking a third. Wait, So I'm usually a pretty like serious individual when it comes to food challenges, but Hanan and Summer were having some fun, and we also had uh, their friend uh, Ibrahim, um, who's actually a TikTok star, um, kind of hop on in and join us for a couple of chimney cakes, which is really cool. We got Abraham here. Don't be scared of me. Abraham is coming to join them. All right, there we go. And ice cream and chimney cones for all. He's gonna eat enough for all of us. Alright, let's keep on trucking here, guys. This one is Oreo, blueberry, blue, is it blueberry cheesecake? Lemon blueberry. Lemon blueberry. This is definitely a place that I would also say I would go back to time and time again, and I'm definitely going to be stopping whenever I'm in the area. Like, literally, if you're ever in the Detroit or anywhere area, definitely stop and buy. And as you see there, Summer was trying to push me a chimney cake, but luckily I caught it quickly there. Oh, Ibrahim, thank God you're here to help. Too good, everybody. This here is Ibrahim. He is our reinforcement. Thank you goodness. When it comes to actual difficulty of this challenge, I'd say it was like intermediate. I think it was a reasonable amount of time, um, but definitely just a lot of like ice cream, a lot of sweets, but so, so, so good. Um, but like I said, it was absolutely a lot of fun meeting up with everybody here. The staff were just so awesome here. All right, blueberry and lemon, fantastic. And I truly have nothing but good things to say. So let me know down below if you prefer chocolate, vanilla, or swirl ice cream. So like I said, chocolate, vanilla, or swirl, ice cream slash soft serve, let me know down below what your favorite is. Mine is definitely vanilla. Maybe we share the same flavor preference. But with that, guys, let's get to the rest of the video. And at that, let's ultimately see what happens. All right, so we're a few minutes in. I'm still thoroughly enjoying it. I need to speed it up, that's for sure. Ladies doing real well, and Abraham are now killing it. How are we going to make it out? Um, we're just trying to get past that first. <laughs> wow. So we're one-on-one? One-on-one. Almost one. One-on-one. Almost one. Almost one. Almost one. Matcha matcha. It had some green um, Kit Kats in it, but ice cream melts, you guys. So, you know what's real ice cream if it's melting. Check your fortune. Oh, check my fortune. I'm just gonna play the game here. Oh, I shouldn't eat the fortune because that's gonna take really nice time. Oh gosh. Failure is the only opportunity to begin more intelligence. That basically means we are gonna fail today. We're failing. But there's always a winner whenever there's a... Keep believing everybody, keep believing. 35. 
Can we save you this? No. Perhaps it'll work better if I eat from the bottom to the top. Uh, that's the cookie butter dream. Cookie butter dream? Yeah. Guys, cookie butter. Biscoff. Yeah. I have a confession. Woo. This is my first time ever having matcha. Really? I really good. Like you like it? Excellent. Oh my god. Really? Guys, cookie butter dream. I can't. Like this is. Oh man. It has beautiful skin. When it's covered in ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he had it. Smolo, smolo. Okay, somebody translate smolo so they know what I'm saying. Basically, so they don't drink it. Yeah, I'm saying something that he, in Arabic we say smolo and it means like hold the envy. Hold the envy? Hold the envy. Oh, hold the envy. So basically we're trying not to jinx it. So when you say someone is, um, wow, your kids are beautiful, and then you knock on wood, like that. Protect so you yourself say from the evil eye. From the, protect from the evil eye, yes. Beautiful. Back to my matcha. So knock on wood. Uh, okay. I appreciate it. Knock on wood. We are like... I think about 10 minutes in, maybe? That's it? Just like it's been an hour. I've got about 20 minutes left. Um, I have three left. The ladies are both on, I think, their second one, though. Okay. Ibrahim is at least one, if not two in. So yeah, he is awesome. crushing it, guys. I, just I cannot get enough. These Jimmy cakes are fantastic. Seriously, like, I have three more. You definitely don't need nine, but 100% you gotta come check this place out. So let's finish this on up. What's this one here? We got fruity pebbles on there, everybody. That's the birthday cake. Birthday cake. I like it. We got a candle. Go, Joel. It's your birthday. Go, Joel. Oh my god, he's only got two left. Bismillah. Take my place. Guys, I can't do this no more. I can't do this. 
The matcha was delicious. Everything was delicious. I can't do this. But you know what? I saved this Louis Vuitton for my daughter, Jenna. She's going to eat this. And she's going to show you guys what a trooper does. Come here, Jenna. Eat this one. I, I, guess, I guess it works like that. I don't really know. Exactly. Hey, you're still wearing it. Yeah, so I lost Abraham. We lost Summer. I'm sorry. I think you, I think that means you guys kind of maybe kind of. I don't want to say you gave up and lost, but I think maybe that's kind of what I'm getting here. So anyway, I'm about to finish up. All right, so we're done there. Somewhere around was that 17, about eight, 17 or 18, something and a half, 18 minutes. All right. So I just successfully completed the challenge. I don't even know what's going on over here. So I don't know if I, I don't know if you guys want to keep eating or not. You guys do whatever you want to do. But I want to give a huge thank you to everybody here at the House of Chippy Cakes. You guys rock. Seriously, thank you for. I know like it, it's so much put in, to put in, was put in to. Uh, making all of this, the staff here have been fantastic, guys. I cannot say enough the true quality and flavors in everything here. I think that is what is so impressive. Like literally, they have a Michelin star, uh, like Michelin star chef behind the cakes, behind the ice creams, and it is just an unmatchable quality with all the Dole Whips and everything. It is absolutely like exquisite. I really cannot say enough. So huge thanks to everybody there. I'm gonna let these ladies continue to enjoy their ice cream. I will say it is like the ice cream and the chip and cakes and everything was fantastic. So uh, I'll see what they're up to, but for myself, signing out, definitely recommend stop on by all means if you're in the Dearborn and or surrounding area. They always, of course, they also have one in Anaheim. Now they have one in Arlington, Texas as well. But Dearborn, guys, Dearborn, Michigan is such a food hub. This place was literally the best desserts I've had in such a long time. I can't say enough. So, again, huge thanks to staff. Summer, Hanan, Ibrahim, uh, everybody here uh, for obviously, you know, getting their normal food challengers. They're just foodies that like to eat. You know, house, uh, house and chimney cakes are obviously accommodated that. So, yes. So, that, of course, the next up to happen, you're happy eating. House chimney cakes, Dearborn, Michigan. Till next time. Appreciate you. Delicious. Delicious. Did you guys like it? Oh, wait. How was the chimney cake? Oh, everything was amazing. But I do want to say that if you ever want to learn how to cook Middle Eastern food, you can follow Summer's Homemade Meals on Instagram and TikTok because I teach people actually how to cook. Hold on, what do you think of the chimney cakes? So, it was really good. I do come here often because I do a lot of food blogging here. I have a page. If you're ever in the area, Detroit Hall Eats, check me out on Instagram. But yeah, everything was amazing. Thank you for having us. Absolutely.